What's up, what's up, Game Wars? Chief Rocky here with another episode of Infinite Lagrange. And I just recently got my hands on a ship, a great destroyer class called the Winged Hussar. And this thing is just amazing. Now, this video is about two and a half weeks, three weeks old. I just wanted to clarify that. I did record this on my phone. All my videos are normally about two, two and a half weeks behind and that is because this is a pvp game to avoid <laughs> anybody searching youtube and my name might come up i don't want my videos to disclose mine or any of my union members locations so for the sake of their safety and mine <laughs> i chose to do this that way i do this with all the games that i play where it's pvp um, because that's the safest way to do it. It doesn't affect their gameplay, and it doesn't affect mine. They don't know any better, and by the time they find this video, it's too late. Anyways, let's get into the Winged Hussar. Okay, so while we're talking about the ship, I'm going to pull up overlays on top of the footage. So the footage is going to keep playing in the background. However, I am going to blur it out so because there is some things I want you to focus on on these charts that I put together. So I will, however, space them in between each other so that you can see some footage of the battle because these these winged Tassars, they, they are just <laughs> they're pretty good. All right. So one of the first things I want to mention is the price tag of this thing. OK, it's actually not that bad. Um, if you if you could maintain about a one million um, in in your resources, and it really depends on where you're at in the gameplay when you pull this out of that loot box, um, it can be pricey, especially in the early game. I got this kind of early game, so it was kind of pricey at that time. So it it really just depends. Uh, and by the way, you can only get the wing Tassar through the loot boxes. So just keep that in mind. Make sure that you're doing the Dawn financial plan because you're going to get more back on that. Um, but it, it is super critical um, that you do those loot boxes. You're going to miss out on a lot of good ships like the Winged Hussar. Okay, so I'm going to break all these down for you. But I wanted to put this screen up here because this is what you're going to see when you open up the blueprint. And understanding... Where what these symbols under the firepower stats, the basic stats, and the combat rolls tell you is kind of critical. Okay, uh, do be aware that I have put some upgrades into my Wing Tassar blueprint. So what you're looking at, especially at the power, uh, the firepower status, is the dark gray bar. Okay, the white is what I've added to it. So this number you see at the firepower status is not the actual basic one let me go ahead and get into that right now all right so if you're new to the game or if you haven't really figured this out by playing i've got i've gone ahead and made this somewhat simple so the red line is your anti-ship fire that is the symbol and the power stats that kind of signifies that the yellow line is your siege fire corresponding to that same symbol and the blue line is your anti-air defense. This ship excels at anti-ship. It is not very good at siege or air defense. However, it could be used for siege. It is not the best siege. <laughs> it is This ship is just superb anti-ship. Especially with the missiles, the missiles just do way better than projectiles. Don't know why, but missiles do better than projectiles. Not as good as energy weapons, but they do better than projectile. Okay, so same layout for the basic stats. And this goes over your armor, your HP, and your cruising and warp speeds, okay? So HP is yellow line. And that just tells you how much health it has. It has a decent amount of health, right? Not the best for destroyer class, but it has a decent amount. Armor, it struggles with armor. This is a not very well armor. I mean, it's right there with the Eris, so it is not very well armed. It is not a tank. Don't even try to use it as one. Use it to where it excels. 
and that is its anti-ship fire capability. Its cruising speed and its warp speed are pretty much standard, right? And those are indicated with the red and green lines, and those are also pointing to their corresponding symbols. Okay, so the last thing to cover is the combat role section, okay? So the most important thing I think when I go to here is where it rates at, okay? And this is what does that for you. So as you can see, I have it kind of highlighted around what I think is the most important thing. So the anti-ship capability with the light green, that is a A rating. This is what this ship is made to do. It is an anti-ship vessel focus on that okay um, we could go over the all, all the way to the other end of the spectrum where it has a siege capability and a strategic capability of a B rating so it can do those roles but it's not the best or most preferred and strategic capability is basically carrying supplies which are for quests I wouldn't really worry about that much but I mean that's going to be kind of relevant in the future now what it's not very good at is anti-air and survivability like I said it is not a tank and it is not an anti-airship don't even try to use them in that role that capability don't do it just focus on the strength and the other part I want to cover is where it sits and you can find this in the description part this is a mid row vessel what does mid-row vessel mean? Well, that just means that it is not sitting in the front and it is less likely to take initial damage. Doesn't mean that it won't. There are certain ships that target mid-row. There's certain ships that target back row. So it is important to know that this is less likely to be targeted or to be in that role of being targeted, but it is still possible. The other thing that I wanted to focus on is its special capability, right? So you'll, under, you'll unlock these strategic plans or these strategic capabilities with your unlock points, right? And this one has one called Missile Storm, and it is just devastating. And as you can see here, it is overwhelming firepower. It goes into depth to kind of tell you what it does for the storm, but yeah, it's just an incredible, incredible thing. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this little review of the Wing Tassar. Uh, I found this vessel extremely interesting. And knowing exactly what to look at and what this ship does kind of helps you know where you want to put your points into to upgrade this thing. Let me know in the comments section below if you found this helpful and if you would like to see any more of this kind of content from me. Other than that, that's all I got. Hope you guys enjoyed. Chief Rocky out.